Hello, this is Thomas Supaka speaking. Following areas are related to mobile testing. This is the test management, manage, the concrete test automation on the mobile device, automate, and service virtualization to virtualize backends and engage feedback in an early stage. In this video, I will focus on mobile-first quality assurance to engage feedback in an early stage, integrated with the Rational Quality Manager to be informed which bugs and crashes were found with the mobile-first quality assurance. With the mobile quality assurance, you can engage feedback in an early stage for your mobile applications. Before we observe our banking app, we will take a look at this iOS calculator application we also manage inside Quality Assurance. Quality Assurance separate the pre-production and the production. Here we have the pre-production. In this pre-production we have no bug, but a feedback and we have a crash, which was reported by Mobile Quality Assurance. Now we examine the detailed information about this crash. What was the state of the device and the environment when the crash happens? Oh, the application was terminated by memory problems. The developer now can take a look at the application and search for the root cause of this memory problem. Let's take a look at our banking application. The banking app we have already functionally tested with our test automation. You can see there were discovered some bugs and provided some feedback by other persons or stakeholders of the application, which are not covered in our formal testing. When our banking app is productive and available in app stores, we also will use a user sediment analysis so that we can track how competitive is our application based on the information in these app stores. In quality assurance, you can also see the devices which are used to provide feedback, bugs, or maybe crash reports. Inside the Rational Quality Manager, we can observe the crashes and the bugs which were reported outside our formal testing. The integration of the mobile application with the quality assurance is very easy. You just have to add libraries and use the libraries inside your application. A nice feature of quality assurance is you just have to shake your device to submit a feedback or a bug. Let us take a look how the quality assurance works on a mobile device. We can log on as a user or tester or stakeholder to the mobile application. And when we log down to the mobile application, we just use the application as we would do as a user. Here, for example, in our app, we will log on as Joe Smith. And then we can shake our device to report a bug or a feedback. In our case, because this is a simulator, we can scroll down and select this option. We will report a bug because we do not have a negative value on our account. So. We shake our device and now we can edit the picture which was taken. We will clearly mark the problem we have so that everyone can understand what our observation was. We will write a short description to report the bug. The information for that bug will be available in Quality Assurance and also in the Rational Quality Manager dashboard. Now we can see the bug inside Quality Assurance. The bug contains all the detailed state of our device and the application. Inside the Quality Manager, we also get notified about the new observation we found inside Quality Assurance. Inside the Quality Manager, the bug record contains the links to the detailed information inside Quality Assurance. From here, 
The developer can examine the detailed information about the device state, the network and different other things which may be uh, useful to fix the bug. In our case, I guess this is more related to the data behind in our system. The main focus in our video was on the pre-production, but you have also the production environment and therefore there is a very useful user sediment analysis. This topic is not covered in that video. If you want more information, use a link inside the description field to get more insight about the user sediment analysis with quality assurance. I hope the information was useful for you and thanks for watching.